Welcome back. Episode 2 of Obscurity. Like, wow. It's been so long since I've even played on this map. I was going through my files yesterday and I found my file for this world. And I kind of felt bad. I, I kind of just never did any other episodes. I did one episode on this series and that was about it. Uh, I was trying to decide because I kind of want to get back into YouTube again even though I seem to not do it very often and I had I had a good feeling about this map so I thought I would give it another try so let me think um, I'm not sure exactly how much I did off camera because when I logged on some of this was done some of it wasn't I actually did been playing on this map all day so I have actually done some of it like uh, I have slapped some of this stuff over here I, I started construction on this this is going to be my home. It's all half slabbed inside. I've got some pot lighting going on in here. Whoa. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? I'm trying to do an intro here. You're interrupting me. So you can just die. Uh, yeah, this is going to be like... Uh, the idea is it's going to be like a tower with mini floors just going all the way up. And every floor is going to have like half slabs on it. So I don't have to worry about stuff spawning in here. I'm thinking, I know one of my my next goals. There's a skelly over there. Um, one of my next goals, let me move this mic a little closer. Uh, is I want to get a smeltery going. Because I was looking at my, uh, what is it? Quest book? Yeah, quest book. Yeah. Um, unclaimed rewards. Some of these I actually haven't claimed, I guess. Oh, uh, let's see. A full heart, a half heart, or three onlit torches. I think I'm going to go with the full heart. There we go. I got a bed. Oh, I got a bed. Imagine that. Hey, why don't we just plop down this bed? Here, I'll consume this first. Yeah, okay. Nine lives. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see. Where do I want to put the bed? I'm thinking thinking over in this corner might be good. Gotta get rid of these half slabs. Plop down the bed. Can you actually sleep in this game? Did I sleep? I guess I slept. I don't know. Can I sleep again? Does that do anything? Maybe it sets my spawn? I mean, that would be an obvious given. Because um, it sure doesn't turn day. That's a disappointment. I guess there's really no day in this map. So we'll leave our bed there. Let's see what I get in the reward bag. Wow, I got a stick. How exciting. Not. It's got to be like one of the worst things you could possibly get. Let's see, what else we got going on in here? Oh, sleeping bag. What's this? Darkness never sleeps, so neither will you. You can still set the point at which you return after death by lying down. This will only work in the deep dark dimension for some reason sleeping in compact machines makes you go boom oh okay well I'll remember not to sleep in a compact dimension then will I let's see well, do, 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 do. repeatable quest uh, whatever that is I completed it okay unclaimed rewards um, beef jerky chicken jerky bacon jerky Mutton jerky. Uh, is that like rabbit jerky? Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe pig jerky? Chicken jerky? Well, let's just do the original beef jerky. Alright. See if there's anything else I can claim. Uh, I already looks like I claimed that. Completed kill quota. Oh, yeah, I've been killing a lot of things off camera. Uh, reward bag or full heart? I think I'm going to go with the full heart. The reward bags kind of suck at the moment. Ooh, I get an inner pearl and I get all this stuff. Wow, cool. That means I can uh, I can make more jerky with that. That's pretty cool. Is this a repeatable quest, I wonder? As if the darkness isn't dangerous enough, these monsters want to rip you to shreds. You may need to kill a few of the very useful things they dropped upon death. You will probably want to set up a less manual way of killing and collecting the drops. A task where the player has to kill certain monsters. Um, 
I don't think it's repeatable, unfortunately. That would be really cool if it was, but I don't think so. Where was that one? Kill quota completed? Yeah. Gun control. What's this? They got guns in this game? With so many mobs coming for you, a ranged attack will be crucial part of your arsenal. The hunter's handgun is very handy in an, in an emergency. The higher your XP level, the better the gun behaves. Oh, that's good. I got a pretty high XP level right now. Once you empty your magazine, you will have to refill it with bullets. Eventually, you will get some extremely powerful ammo that should ensure your safety if you're a good shot. If you're a good shot. So, I guess I need to make a neutral magazine. Um, I'll save that for later. I don't really worry about it right now. Uh, I know the smeltery is coming up here. See what's this? Digging in the dark unlocks one quest elsewhere. Copper, iron, tin. Looks like I'm missing silver, gold, and aluminum. 16 torches, a full heart, are one of these reward bags. But wow, you get three diamond ores, you get a bunch of shiny ore, and you get blocks of iron. That's a really good, that's a really good one. But I'd have to go find these ores. Mm, bow down. Let me go back. Uh, not that back. About uh, Forge in the Darkness. I think that's where the um, smeltery comes in handy. Smeltery. Yeah, so I need to make all this stuff here. I think that's what I'm going to work on today, is what, getting a smeltery. You get a redstone clock. Hmm, interesting. I've seen this in somebody else's video before, but I've never actually tried one. I think it, like, automates the smeltery or something. Okay, I got my fingers on the wrong keys. So let's get out of here. And... Yeah, see, I got 40 levels. I've been killing things like crazy. Let's go. I'm trying to remember how to make goat, grout, or whatever to make a smeltery. Oh, yeah, and I, uh, I'm i trying to dry this leather because I want to make it into hardened leather. I don't know how long it's supposed to take. And I upgrade it. This is like my biggest and best compact machine right now, so I upgraded it. with. I had a diamond, I guess. I don't remember where I got it from, but... I added diamonds, I upgraded it. You can see it on the little screen here. It says upgrade it, yes. And that basically means if I break it, uh, it'll it'll maintain its contents. This one's also upgraded, but this is really tiny. This one's not upgraded. I don't, I don't know what to do with that. I'm thinking I'm probably going to move these over to my house. And, wow, they turned into hardened leather right before my eyeballs. How cool is that? That's so cool. I, I don't really need the armor right now because I got decent armor i believe i found this in a reward bag a full set of shiny armor but you know it's it's almost dead so i'm gonna have to have replacements sure, let me see where did i have the leather 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 oh i must have left it i must have left it in the machine you know, let's go get it okay yeah i did a few changes in here um i actually put a second floor on and for some reason when these trees grow um sometimes their leaves just vanish and since this is chunk loaded all the time uh, a lot of times if if i'm gone for too long then i won't get any saplings because you saw the two saplings laying on the ground but they they will eventually despawn and i've expanded my crops so i got the crops are always growing because it's always chunk loaded in here and yeah i didn't mean to do that it's probably helpful if i don't have that selected while I'm trying to harvest my crops. And I don't know if you noticed, but those crops actually did harvest even though I went out. They were just chilling on the ground there. Okay, let me get... Uh, eh, what about the beef jerky in here? Uh, for now, I'm just going to like make a pile of this stuff. I'll put that in there. Uh, I think I got that string from my quest. Uh... I've been collecting my mob drops in here. Uh, but put some string there. Here's my leather. Um, saplings. Shouldn't really check out that reward bag. 
I have hearts in here. Hmm. I don't know where I should store. I'm, I'm really still disorganized. I don't know where to store stuff. Uh, I just got stuff everywhere. This is like the mob drop chest. That's about the only one I've designated. And this is, well, this is kind of like the food chest. So I guess I've kind of designated that one. Uh, let's see. What, what am I trying to do here? I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, I should probably chop this tree down before I try to plant another sapling. So yeah, while I'm in here, I feel completely safe. I'm, I think I'm going to pop this uh, compact machine up after I get out. And I got better barrels up here for saplings, wood, gravel, sand, bone meal. I don't know why I got one for bone meal. Dirt, and really don't know why I got one for dirt, considering that uh, I have so little dirt. And I got, uh, what is that, clay balls? Yeah, clay balls. Now let's open this reward bag. Hopefully... I get something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. The hell is that? Uh, I guess it's okay. I mean, it's better than a stick. I can't complain too much, I guess. Freaking stick. That's just useless. There's a freaking stick right there. Useless. Useless, I say. Uh, let's eat this one. I wonder if there's like a maximum. Can you like get 99 lives and then you just can't get any more? Unless you die or something. I don't know. Interesting. Well, maybe someday in the future I'll find out. Now where to put these hearts? Do I want to put them in here? Or do I want to put them over here? Or does it really matter? I guess it doesn't. We'll just stick them over here. I've got five torches on me right now. I've got some bone meal on me. I want to move all this stuff. Um, A lot of this stuff. I want to move it over to my house. Like uh, the Tinker's Construct and stuff. Because in the house is where I'm going to build a cement tree. I think I want to build it on the second floor. Uh, I need some cobble. I need... I need to condense these furnaces down. I really don't need a furnace here. i got furnaces everywhere. Get rid of this furnace. Uh, I need to go back into that compact machine. I... I came in here looking for a furnace. I couldn't find one, even though they were right in front of my face. And so I put one down here, like a moron. So we'll just pop that one up, too. See, this one's got coal in it. Well, duh, they both got coal in them. Uh, what was I going to do with this furnace now? I, I was making some charcoal, too. That's charcoal there. Um... Oh yes, I was gonna make some grout. Let's, hmm, curious. Uh, I know this is always chunk loaded, but if I break it and it's no longer placed, it's probably not gonna be chunk loaded anymore. Uh, well, I'm curious if like if I got the furnaces going and stuff, and then I break it, and then I put it back down, will the furnaces still be going? Let's find out. Um, I burnt through a lot of my sand because I made glass for my house, so I'm kind of short on sand right now. That's not particularly helpful. Uh, so I'm going to have to go get more mixed compound. I believe you can just do it like this. Yep, I was right. Okay, there we go. We got our grout. And if you're wondering why I've got carrots on me, well, I've learned a cool trick. If you eat a carrot, it gives you one minute of night vision, which is actually very, very helpful. Let me get out of this machine. Uh, we're going to place more leather. I want to move these dry racks somewhere, too. Or do I? I don't know. Anyways, let's move this machine. Move this one. I don't know why, but we'll move that one. And this one... I, I don't really know what to do with this one just yet. But I think you can place a machine inside of a machine. So that compact machine, I could probably put it inside another one. One that is actually upgraded. And then I won't have to worry about upgrading that one. Speed potion. What do I got? This strong box has nothing in it. I think this one holds its contents if you break it. Let me, let me just test that out. Yep, it holds its contents. So that's, uh, that's actually helpful. Very helpful. 
So we will take the strong box with us. And I don't know why I feel the need to take the contents out when it holds it. And I love this glass here. I wonder if I can make more of it. It's like uh, you can walk through it and mobs cannot walk through it. I'm actually tempted to move it to my house. What the? Oh, I thought I saw slime particles around here. Uh, the mobs are coming. The mobs are coming. Anyways, let's get over to my house. Though I will slay this one. That's massive slime there. I kind of made this so that... Uh, wow. He's trying to jump on my head. They can't really get me because I have the, uh, ins the torch here. So I can pretty much kill anything that wanders into here. And the fence is in the perfect spot for me to do so. And I've been leveling up this sword quite a bit because of how many things I kill with it. Oh, did he drop a loot bag? Sweet. And the awesome thing about this sword is it's made out of bone, so I can easily repair it, which is why I carry bone meal with me, which is all in the strong box. But and let's see, what do we got? We got expert level. We're 70% way to get. I think the next one might be master, and there's a chance that I will uh, get another like skill or some kind of. See, it's got like beheading sharpness and smite. It might get another one. I was really hoping to get auto repair. This this uh, flint pickaxe has auto repair on it, so I never have to repair it. It'll just repair itself as long as you're not using it, which is so cool. Now, let me see. Where do I want to place these compact machines? I mean, I might as well just place them here, right? That's a good spot. Uh, let's see, we'll put this one down. Tiny, does it tell me if it's upgraded or not? I can't tell which is which now. Um, whatever. I know this one's upgraded. Let's see if this one's upgraded. That one's not upgraded, so that's the unupgraded one. So that means this one's upgraded? Yes, okay. So now, what do I mean by uh, placing down? So this compact machine, I believe, I can place it inside of this compact machine. Question is, where do I want to place it? How about right here? So now I can go inside this one. Yep, there we go. And really, there's it's, this thing's so scrawny, there's really nothing to do with it. I mean, I could use it for storage. I'm thinking it's probably what I'm going to be doing with it, just simply because uh, this main module is uh, it's kind of like my current storage area and let me see were these furnaces would they were actually still working wow okay yeah because I broke that uh, I broke this compact machine almost immediately after starting the furnaces so yeah I guess this stays loaded even though I broke it that's actually really awesome Okay, now let's see the strong box. You know what I should do with this strong box? I should like keep it in my inventory since I, it uh, holds its inventory. And I could like keep it like a backpack almost, like when I go mining and stuff. I think that's what I'm going to do with it. That's a really good idea. I, I like that idea. So that's what, that's what we're going to do with that. It's just going to be like in my inventory at all times. Let's see, quest book, um, and I got junk in my inventory I don't really need. Nah, I'm wasting a lot of time this episode. I need to make some progress, so I'm going to cut. Uh, I'm going to get my supplies around for my smeltery. I need to get some uh, more stone slabs so that I can finish this off here. I'm going to do that off camera. And when I come back, I will be I should be ready to uh, get my smeltery going. Hey right, guys, I'm back. I'm just looking up the recipe for the smeltery. Uh, there is one thing though I have failed to realize that I don't currently have any lava. So even if I build this smeltery. Uh, I'm not going to have any way to use it at the moment. I'm going to have to go into the hole and find some lava. 
But anyways, that's uh, that's a problem for later. Uh, also, this episode is... Uh, I don't want it to be as long as the first one. That was like 40 minutes. It's pretty, pretty long. So I'm going to have to end this pretty soon here. Uh, let's see. The smeltery controller. I need a circle. Do I have a crafting table over here? Why did I never bring my crafting table over here? It's beyond me. Ugh. I'm gonna have to move this thing. It's gonna blow up everywhere. Whatever. Because I want a crafting table over here. Alright, let me put this stuff back in here. I got some equipment in here that needs repaired, possibly in the future. We'll see. Uh, bone meal there. Alright, that's good. And uh, I'm just going to make a crafting table appear here by editing magic. Poof! There it is. It's a crafting table. Yeah, I just cut off the part of me going to get it, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Now, to make a controller. Smeltery controller. Very good. And then we need... Hmm, how many drains do I want? Well, I'm probably not going to have like excessive amounts of resources, so I don't really need a lot. So I'm thinking... So I want to I want the ability to make nuggets in ingots. So I'm thinking um let's just do four drains. Yeah, four drains ought to be good. It's probably actually more than I need, but I'm gonna go with four drains. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. I also need uh, the spigots for it, so I need four spigots. Or faucets, or whatever the hell they're called. Give me, give me, give me. All right, what, what else we need? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, sheared bricks. I don't know how many of these brick things I'm going to need. Let's just make one stack. 16. I don't know if that's enough. Well, we'll, we'll get it started. We'll see. Uh, I put the floor up here. I, I know it's kind of like uh, if you're claustrophobic, it's probably a low ceiling, but whatever. It works. And I got a half slot of stairs going up here. A smell tree is going to be located back here. Uh, what did I get? A smell tree book? Okay, we'll look at that later. Um, probably going to have it like right up against the wall here. Sorry, I'm probably speaking away from the microphone again. Uh, now, if I put down a brick, if I, do, if I put down a brick, is it going to be floating? Probably, right? Probably. Let me chest it out here. Uh, yep, it's a floaty block. Okay. So we got the four over here. Okay. Just trying to think. I'm gonna do this. So with that there, I think I'm gonna put half slabs. What the heck? Oh, I guess it's too dark up here. The shadows are coming to get me. I'm gonna have to torch it up up here. Uh, boy, that's gonna be a problem. Do I have any of that other brick on me? Mm, no, I do have torches on me though. Well, I hate to just put a random torch down. Well, let's see. Uh, boy, this darkness is sure annoying. I guess if I'm over here, I'm I'm in light enough level that I, I'm not gonna die. But let's let's just try to make this quick so uh, I don't die or something stupid like that. So what I'm thinking is putting these down below here like that. Okay, that was a fail. I think if I remember right, this is the size of a smeltery. Mm-hmm. I think so. And the drain. Let's see. The drain. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put some torches down. I'm gonna be dead here real quick. Um 
I think the drains have to go up. I think they have to go up. Let's just place this down as a temporary block. Yeah, that was a complete fail. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a torch down here. Uh, okay, well, I don't wanna put a torch right below the drain. That would be stupid. Um, give me my brick back. Give me my brick back. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to figure out where am I gonna put a torch around here. Um, how about right on the side of this thing? That, that'll work. And then. Let's see. We'll do the same thing over here. And I'll put another torch. I'll put another torch uh, on the side of this thing. And I should be good then. Yeah, torch there. At least I shouldn't die from darkness now. Yeah, I know this smell tree looks really stupid right now. But don't worry. You'll see where I'm going with this. Uh, gosh, this is really annoying. Okay, uh, like so. And the other drain, I'll place here. And voila, we have drains. It's amazing. Um, hmm. Well, let me think here. The controller, I believe, has to go here. So that'd be like here. And, okay. Controller will go, should it be in the center? Should I make it center or on the side? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Let's just put it in the center. Oh my God. Oh, really? Really? Man, I suck at placing blocks. Okay, smell three controller. And let's see, I need a brick. I, I want a tank, but I don't have any glass, I don't think with me. See a tank? I, well, I need a tank in order to get the thing to work, you know. Uh, this one, basically. Which I just need one piece of glass. Do I have one piece of glass? Let me go check. Hmm, we have visitors? We have visitors. How many visitors do we have? We have lots of visitors. Too bad they can't get me. Ha, ha. I really want to figure out how I can get more of that torch because that torch is awesome. If I had like a whole ring of them, then nothing could get near me. Anyways, I'm blabbering on. Let me find some glass. Aha, piece of glass. Beautiful, beautiful. So now if I do this and then I do this, there we go. Get out of here. Or is that, it was, oh, I think my tree grew. I got to check for saplings. It, Probably already despawned though. Uh, yeah, they despawned. That's what I mean. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, it looks like my leather has turned into hardened leather, which I really didn't want. I wanted to make jerky, but uh, silly me forgot about it and it turned to leather, so I just left it up there to turn it to hardened leather. Well, I might as well harvest my crops while I'm in here. And if you just right click, you don't even have to replant it. I guess it's something called harvest craft or something, and it just makes harvesting stuff really easy. So I'm kind of digging that. Uh, let's see, put that in there. Uh, we'll put our wood up here. And let me get out of here. Yeah, this episode's really getting long now. I gotta hurry up. So I'm just gonna do a couple more things and then we're gonna call it. Okay, so the sheer tank will go here. Um, I guess for now I just put a brick here. 
These stupid slimes, my goodness. Okay, put that there. Yeah, this is gonna hang off the back of the building, but whatever, yeah, I don't really care. Um, gotta put this. I believe this is a functional smeltery now. Yes, you can see that it's lit up. I mean, this is like, this is like the smallest smeltery you can possibly make, basically. Uh, but at the moment, I don't really have a lot of options because I don't have a lot of resources to make m it bigger. But I probably will, uh, you know, make it bigger eventually. Do I have enough bricks left? Because I didn't make any basins or I didn't make any... Um yeah, I'm going to have to go make more grout because I need more bricks. But anyways, that's about all the time I got for today. Uh, so at the beginning of the next episode, I should have the smeltery completely set up. I want to get the um, the tanks down. Or not the tanks down. I got, I got to go get some lava first. And then I got to get, uh, you know, this side's going to be where I want to have some basins down here for draining. And then the other side, I'm going to have, um, like, the table things to make... Uh, You're really annoying slime. Uh, what the hell am I trying to say? Um, those, yeah, I can't think of the word. Table things that I'm gonna make ingots and ligats on and stuff. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know it's kind of an all over the place episode. I'm hoping as I get into the groove again that I'll figure out a little bit more orderly fashion on doing things. But again, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And until next time, adios, bye bye.